So I have been training pretty much the same way for over 10 years now. Now this style, this philosophy that I have been adapting has elements of strength training, but really it was just for aesthetics, especially staying lean, staying lean, looking aesthetic and getting a little bit stronger in the process. Recently, I feel like I've hit a bit of a brick wall and the progress has dried up. Aesthetically, I still look the same, but I can feel in my output, in my performance, in my strength that I have certainly stagnated if I'm not in fact moving backwards. So I've decided to have a little bit of a reset and one of the things I've always admired is the strongman style training. I've never really thought it was going to be for me. I've never really thought it was something that I could really achieve, but why the hell not try? So I've got myself a program off the internet. I've started it already. And these were my first two strongman based workouts. Okay, guys, so day one started with this log clean and press. Now, to be honest, I've never really done cleaning presses. Look at this struggle to get it up here. Didn't really need those pads either. You know, I wasn't pushing heavy weights right here. But, you know, I just wanted to get used to the movement, used to the feeling of the log coming up and down because obviously it's a lot thicker than a traditional barbell. But I am looking forward to trying this one out a little bit more in the future moving forward, trying to up the weight a little bit. I started all of these exercises relatively light. I didn't want to be fucking anything up on day one because I've never trained in this style before. Like I say, previously, I have always trained a sort of, you know, two to four rep range at the beginning of my workouts. But then by the end of your workouts, I'm working in the 10 to 15 range now. Now, coincidentally, that is how this first day was set up. So we then moved into three sets of 10 on this shoulder press i think it's an axle shoulder press really pushing out and letting it max out at the top and i worked my way up to about 20 kilos on either side i always just count the weight on either side as opposed to the combined weight definitely not egotistical to do that it makes you sound a lot weaker than you actually are especially when you're pushing some serious reps but again these are very strict form really maxing out and pausing at the top i could really feel that so this was two sets of these before moving on to these pull-ups neutral grip now this was the last set here i've done four sets of 10 really strict holding at the top i only managed to get about five out here i really feel like i've lost a lot of my strength i used to do a lot of weighted pull-ups back in my peak a couple of years ago but like I said, guys, I have certainly slacked off, hence this reset. Now, the last part of this workout was really similar to your standard hypertrophy workout. You got some seated dumbbell raises here. We did three rounds of this as a bit of a giant set with the next two exercises that I'm going to show you. But yeah, there's nothing particularly out of the ordinary or strongman about this last part of the session, to be honest. Yeah, I just filmed another set of the lateral raises here to get it from a different angle. It's just for my own personal observation, to be honest, mate. But gym looks nice in the background. Nice big gym muscle factory in Bangkok. So I thought I'd just throw this one into the video just for the visual appeal. Then this was the first liberty that I took. Now, now although I am going to follow this program that I found online, which looked really appealing, hence why I've decided to just follow that because it's my first strongman experience, I am going to swap out a couple of exercises for things that I prefer. So, for example, I'm using the straight bar here as opposed to dumbbells. I don't really prefer it. I just wanted to mix it up. And on the previous exercise, it was banded face pulls. But instead, I decided to do the wide high row. That's just an exercise I've loved for a long time. Followed by your standard tricep extensions to finish off. So this was three sets, three rounds. And all of those exercises were falling in the 10 to 15 rep range.
And this one wasn't actually listed, but farmer's walks, farmer's carries are just an exercise that I absolutely love in general for my core. I've been doing these for years. It's, I guess it's a strongman exercise, but I just love doing them. So I thought I'd throw in some of them for my core at the end of day one. Now day two, this is where things got a little bit more challenging and a little bit more interesting, to be honest. I started out with these box squats. Not much weight on there at all, but I really wanted to get used to the movement pattern because I have not squatted for a long time. I've been doing hack squats, Smith machine squats, but I really feel like I need to get back on that squat mechanisms. And you're about to see my first failure. So after a couple of relatively easy sets, I decided to whack the weight up to something similar to what I was squatting at my peak, which was probably 55 to 60 kilos absolute max either side and i failed which was the first failure so then we move into these front squats which is an exercise that i've never really enjoyed to be honest guys but i have been having some lower back pain for a while now so i really feel like these sort of stability exercises are going to help with that instead of being locked into machines which i do advocate for i feel like i really need to get my stabilizers involved and build up that lower back strength Next up, the yoke. I have never done this before. I had to watch a video before and to just, you know, get the form down. Didn't put a single kilogram of weight on there, but as you can see, it's swinging around a little bit, which is not a good thing. So that is something that I'll look forward to working on. After that, guys, the next listed exercise was a Bulgarian split squat. But guess what? This gym has so many cool machines that I do not want to miss out. I want to get my money's worth. So instead, I used this bizarre squat machine, which reminds me of something out of Avatar. It's so big. It's so unusual, the feeling. You can really lean back into it. So I really wanted to try and work my hammies a little bit on this one. And again, I just wanted to record a second set of this. Occasionally, guys, you'll see me looking at the camera, glancing at the camera, but, you know, pretty irrelevant. Didn't want to go too heavy on the weight here, guys. Look, the weight is next to nothing. I know some of you people out there will be doing three, four, five plate squats, but that's never been me. I've never really been interested in going that extreme. So this is all new to me, hence why I am taking it slow to start with. This is a 12 week program and I'm going to start off low and I'm going to try and make real organic process. Next up, sled pulls. Really enjoyed this one. Again, kept the weight relatively low, wanted to get my core engaged, wanted to get my and again, wanted to pay special attention to my stabilizer muscles because I do not want to be getting any imbalances. I've definitely got a stronger side and I do not want to be making that any worse. Just pushing it back. But this was really about the pulls. And then finally, this wasn't on the program, but I just wanted to do a little bit of calf work to finish up. This is, I think it's called the linear hack squat. It is a hack squat machine. But it's a really nice way to work your calves. Not really had this in many gyms before. It's just a nice, simple movement. Do about 15 reps. And I did about four sets of that. Again, relatively lightweight. So, guys, now that is it for day one and day two, guys. There was no throwing rocks. There wasn't even any bench work on this one, any bench press or anything like that. That is going to come on day three and day four. I'm taking a little breather now. So guys, if you want to follow this journey, I will be uploading the next video in a few days. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel to support your boy. And until the next one, geezers, bye-bye.